What are you doing there, Queenie? These are our Lars Anderson peaches. This is a seedling tree. When we had, we bought a tree called Lars Anderson. Very, very good peach. Well, that tree was dying. It wasn't doing good on the, the rootstock that it, we bought, that it was grafted to, that we bought. So, it had some nice peaches one year. We had no other peach trees here blooming. So this is a true, strain of Lars Anderson. There was no other peaches around it. And these are, we planted the seeds that we got off of that tree. That winter we put them in the ground so they'd stratify. They sprouted and this is one of our trees. This tree's four years old. Very, this will be a standard size tree. This is not a dwarf. But it's definitely the true Lars Anderson peach. Now I have since taken buds off of this and grafted it onto other rootstock. It's a very good peach. It's a early peach. If you let it get uh, super ripe, they're just like candy. Very sweet. And they they hold up well for canning. We're picking them now. A little on the hard side. We'll let them sit in a couple days because the, the raccoons like them too. Even though we have electric fence around this, the raccoons can smell these. And the ones that know what these are, the fence won't stop them. They come through anyways. So we're getting all the ripe ones. And we'll be canning these tomorrow. We'll let them set for a night and then we'll can them. And we have a request for, uh, which is it, Quinn? Cobbler or pie with ice cream? Cobbler. Peach cobbler with ice cream. Yay! So the secret of, fi of finding ripe peaches is you feel around it and it's kind of squishy, you pull it off and it might come off automatically. Mm -hmm. Mushy die. And if it's shining in the sun, they'll grow faster. They, they get more plump and they, they ripe it up quicker, don't they? Yep. Good job, Cheeky. Hi. These ones down here in the shade, that's why they're hard yet, huh? They're not getting all that that beautiful sun. Here, Cheeky, you want to put these in the basket, please? Sure. And we put them in gently, don't we? So we don't bruise them. Yeah. Uh, when these two baskets are full, and got to bring them back to the house. These are not as big as they can get because this is the only tree that produced this year. We had a late frost, and I put my smudge pots around this tree so we have peaches. So, I did not thin them out. If you look over here, rule of thumb is you don't want any peaches touching. You see these touching? So you'll get smaller peaches. If we had all our other trees had peaches, I'd thin these out like this. I can pull this off. It's gonna be close enough to right. If I would thin them out when they're about this big, about the size of a golf ball. You thin them out so no peach is touching another peach. So like this, we've got a bunch touching here. I would pull this one out and I'd pull this one out. So that's the rule of thumb. Every other one or so they're not touching. When you do that, and we're a little late on the video, but the ones on top, the ones higher up that were more sparse, are much bigger. I'll show you a couple of nice ones here from the top. These are the ones from the top, much nicer, big peaches. And if you water them, you wanna start watering your peach trees end of June, 1st of July. That's when the fruit really grows in size. You wanna give them at least five gallons 
of water per week and you'll get really big peaches. But we had a lot of rain this year. And like I said, I just left it alone. You gotta be careful. You give them too much water, you get big peaches, but it dilutes the taste. We like ours nice and juicy and sweet, don't we? I don't even care for small peaches. We're gonna can some. We got, a, as you can see, we got a lot of peaches on here. Another thing thinning helps prevent is this. Broken branches, because of all that weight, which these, these branches down here, we want to take out anyways for next year. We want this new growth to come through, but you can see these were just, some of these are really weighted down. Here you go. We're almost done here. Won't be long. You want to eat another one? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. I can't blame you though.